Here he is again, with a lot of foam on the face. Trying to drop an 8.33 now. That relaxed style, those arms just hanging by his side. As we go now to Connor Coffin on the outside. Such a hard wave to surf here at the moment, but Connor doing very well. Hold on. And he just gets launched as those two swells come together. Well, that's kind of a new technique. Maybe you just get launched above that and then just glide out of it like you're riding a, a river rapid <laughs> and just get out into the flats that way. Might work. But like you're, you're talking about trying to compare John's surfing to you know history history i mean he brings such a unique style it was almost funky you know and now it's like he's refined it even further to a point now where it's just like it's unique to his own and it's so dynamic that his lines are so different that it's that you can't really truly compare him to anyone except himself let's take a look at his replay here oh geez a big drifting layback we missed that part and then this is where we caught up with him so now we know why he made that choice. This could easily fit into his top two. As a matter of fact, it does. <laughs> well, if you got him on your fantasy, look at this. Now that is commitment and then the drift. Remember we did that this morning. He fell onto his board and went into coffin. Popped up, no worries. But this time, drifts. So he makes an adjustment and pulls it off and now puts up a gigantic number. Right back into it again, mid-face, bottom turn, holding a ton of speed. Very unique. Just touch on the, how difficult it is too, Pete, to surf with that much foam and bump on the face. It is. It's a, you know, it's a latte you're going through. And it's not easy to engage fins or anything, but sometimes I guess you can utilize it to your advantage, where he did there, where it's like you're going to get released pretty easily. And he drifted. A 9.73 for John Florence. 